What up, guys? I'm, I'm feeling so good. <laughs> um, me and the girlfriend, we definitely had a thing last night. I mean, I was close to honestly losing her forever. And we worked it out. I can't believe it. Like, I, we were able to work it out. So I'm really happy about that. Today is a very good day, guys. It's June 18th. That means um, even day if you vlog, and I'm gonna make it in the form of a how-to video. And I'm gonna put up a how-to video, and it's gonna have to do with um, bodybuilding competing. And holy crap, it just grows and grows. Um, so I'm also today going to be visiting my coach's place, um, going down south for that, about an hour drive. Well worth it. <laughs> Um, I learned so much last time and this time I'm sure I'm going to learn all these little tricks and I'm going to learn all these little things. Ooh, it's going to be good. Um, mm. So by now you would have already seen the video, the four weeks out posing update video that I'll be recording there. Um, that's going to be great. I'm, it feels like I'm getting my life on track, guys. It really does. Um, I can't even explain it. So, whew, <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. I'll you can actually see away. who the mythical coach is. Alright guys, this is my main coach right here. So. Eric Helms. It's Alberto. <laughs> this is uh, Jeff Alberts over here. What's up? Yeah. That looks like? That looks like... Uh, looks no. like right, right before uh, August. You got it. <laughs> I don't have to run on there. Oh, the bicep flexing. This is for Matt Otis. Oh, wow. Zoolander yeah. <laughs> 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 <Do you> bodybuilding? Yeah. <laughs> Magnum. Here's proper posing. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. The pelvis out first. I love that Adam thought. That's my favorite. Yeah. This one. Adam Dick. There you go. <laughs> Four pounds. That'd be real yeah. shredded. You get him on camera and he can pose all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. Head down. There, there you go. go. Nice shot. Gear out, hands up, and most muscles. You guys ain't ready for this. I don't even think I should film this. Ooh! Give him a nice, big, nasty smile. Yeah. Like <laughs> that chest. Well, hit it. Hit it. There you go. Pop that right, Claudia. Spread your hands out. Right. That's freaky. Super nasty. Really over top. Jesus. There, there you go, Jeff. A little bit better. Pull your elbows in. Down Damn. towards you more. Towards your lats more. There you that go. That was freaking chest rising. Jeez. Alright, guys, I just left um, Jeff Albert's place. I was there with Eric Helms, Alberto Nunez. Jeff Alberts. It was a really, really fun day. I learned a lot, just like last time. Except this time, you know, we just brushed it up. And um, we actually had a lot of, or I had a lot of uh, lessons I learned and just stuff about on season dieting, off season dieting for, you know, the, month, the years to come. Um, got a lot of cool websites to use for tracking my macronutrients and stuff and a lot of just good insight on how I'm going to be training and how I'm going to be carrying my body weight and uh, packing on the mass come off season. I um, just learned a lot. Uh, it, it's crazy hanging out with these guys. It's like they, they are the real deal. It, it's cool. Like I wish I had more friends who were uh, bodybuilders or natural bodybuilders who competed. It's really, really cool. And they're all really humble and cool guys and they're goofy as hell. So shout out to them if they're watching this. You guys, um, you know, I'm glad I hit you guys up and uh, I'm glad you guys are my coaches because I would definitely wouldn't be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for you guys. So especially you, Eric. Thanks a lot. Um, I've learned a lot. <laughs> also, uh, shout out to Jeff. You have an amazing, beautiful home. 
and thank you for allowing me to get, my, get all that posing practice done in your place. You're a very nice person, uh, a great posing coach, that's for sure. It's crazy because guys, uh, you know, even Alberto's at the house getting, you know, getting his posing practice in. And it's like you're never too good to have a mentor. You know, all these guys mentor each other. Um, and especially Alberto, just. I'm sorry, especially uh, Jeff seems like such a good posing um, instructor and teacher and educator of just posing and just a master. He's like freaking the sensei, like master splinter. Anyways, it's just crazy. Uh, and Alberto, his physique is just ridiculous and he's a cool dude too. So um, thanks for those links that you showed me to those... Uh, calorie things and all the other stuff you taught me today. Really appreciate it. All three of you guys, thanks for all the stuff that uh, you taught me today. So, yeah. So, one thing that these guys can do just based on how much experience they have and how much knowledge they have is uh, they have a lot more, basically, freedom with what they eat in a day. They, um, they know what macronutrient um, ranges they're going for. And you usually get a little bit broader range in the off season. At least they give themselves a more broad range. But even um, competition season, I think they still have some sort of range, and not more like a you know, specific amount they have to hit, like a magical number that I kind of aim for. Well, that's just me because it's my first time. It makes it kind of simpler. It takes out all the guesswork. But uh, what they do is, you know, they just have like a range they go for, and what they can do is just. In their mind, it's like they know different foods and how much macros it has, and well, not exactly. You know, they they, they know all the tools like websites, um, the programs, etc., and apps in their phones that help them track all that stuff. And it's it's so amazing. I just can't wait till I'm like at that stage where I can actually just go out, eat at a restaurant, and then you know know what I'm eating. I'm like okay in my mind. Uh, eight ounces of steak. Check on my phone. That's going to be this much, you know, this much of each macro. Da da da. Based upon that, you know, my next meal of the day, I'm going to lower the fats by this much, that much, carbs, whatever, protein. This. I had a ton of protein in this meal. I'll drop it in my later meal. Um, stuff like that. Like I really can't wait to be able to do that and uh, have that kind of flexibility during the off season because I love my Chipotle. I love my P.F. Chang's, and I love eating out with my girlfriend. Um, I definitely love eating out, every, you know. I was eating out with her at least once a week, every, you know, maybe twice a week, and uh, I like that. I think it's healthy, you know, go on dates and spend time with each other, and we haven't been spending that much time with each other because I've been being so damn specific, and honestly, guys, from learning with, from these guys, you don't have to be, it's so crazy, the mentality. Not the mentality, but just the level of it, of experience and the amount of bro science that just that just dissolves um, from being as experienced as they are. Like a lot of these things that many of the viewers and many of the people who hit me up ask me about, it just doesn't exist. Like peaking too early or worrying about water weight and this manipulation and that manipulation and all these little things in, in, in meal timing and all this crap it's like guys that, that doesn't even matter yes I mean yeah your, your pre-workout meal the meal timing for that does matter but like all these other things they don't really matter like the meal timings guys every three hours nah nah <laughs> Alberto looks the way he does and he told me he eats like every five to six hours okay so like you know what I mean like for reals guys like there's so much pro science out there and like you're just gonna gain more understanding with experience and associating with other with other people who do this sport um, as you get older you're gonna learn more and it's like there's so much room to learn guys so you know don't get so 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 caught up with what you know and always be ready to learn more always be ready I thought I knew a lot when I was 17. I didn't know nothing. I thought I knew a lot when I was 18. When I was 19, I didn't know anything. I still don't know nothing <laughs> compared to these guys. So, you know, hopefully when I get older, more experienced, I'm gonna know all this stuff. And 
natural bodybuilding will just come naturally to me. You know, I'll just I can't wait for that because I love this sport, especially hanging around those guys. And I know uh, I don't know, man. I'm excited. I'm excited as hell. These guys are really inspirational. Hey, quit being a little bitch. Oh, his cake.